All right, a couple weeks ago, I talked about patching and why it's so critically important, especially internet facing things. So whether it's your firewall, it's some sort of VPN system, maybe it's an application delivery controller like a Netscaler, which is key here, but it's really important to patch it. Because when there's vulnerabilities out there, it's really easy for a threat actor or a group to get into your network when there's a major vulnerability. And Citrix Bleed is a good example of this. I talked about it before, but it's CVE 2023-4966. And this dates back to October 10th when Citrix patched it. However, it looks like it's been exploited in the wild since August. So what is it? Uh, a Netscaler is something that protects a company. It usually load balances websites, or it can be used to gain access to uh, a secure tunnel into your network to get access to enterprise applications or maybe a virtual desktop. So you can do your work, right, remotely. The problem is, is hackers can basically just ask for an HTTP request and it will send back information from memory. That is not supposed to happen. The problem is it gives them basically like a key into somebody's session that's on the Netscaler. So let's say the CEO has a connection into Citrix and they're working on their applications. Somebody could actually steal that session by just going to the Netscaler. Horrible. The problem with that is, is once they get in, they start using tools that are common that you may or may not notice to move throughout your, your network, move laterally throughout it and try to gain additional access. And then some of these groups are launching ransomware. A good example of this is Boeing and ICBC, which is the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. Their uh, financial services division that deals with U.S. treasuries had ransomware late last week and it kind of interrupted treasury trades. If, I guess it forced them to pay a ransom from what's being reported. It looks like DP World Australia, which a lot of the Australian ports were shut down, the shipping ports, uh, was hit with something similar. So it's important that like these big companies, we learn from that, right? They didn't patch it. So it's been exploited since August. They patched it on October 10th, and we're sitting here more than a month later, and these companies still didn't patch it. And I get it. Enterprises move slowly. However, you can't afford that especially in a, in a smaller or medium-sized business, can you afford that lag time? And the answer to most people is going to be no, because that kind of attack is, is catastrophic to a lot of businesses. So it's really good to have a plan. You need to have a vulnerability management plan where you're actually patching the stuff as soon as it comes out. Is that going to be 100%? No. But if it's internet-facing, those are the most critical systems because they're the easiest ones to hit. Reach out. If you have a question, I'm here to help. Until next time, stay cyber safe.